So got up this morning and went to Home Depot. And normally I roam through the plants and everything, but today let's back up. That is not what I came here for. I came to get something I have never bought before. There they are. And I've done a lot of research on this. I am going to set up a raised bed and I'm going to buy a raised bed because I've got a million ideas on so many ways we can set it up for so many different types of plants. And I think it's going to be fantastic. So I hunted through and there they are. And let's go through why I chose these over so many other brands. They're a good price, but they've got so many good qualities that I think they're gonna last a lifetime or at least a very long time. So as you see which one I chose, but before we get into that, let me tell you why I took this particular brand. There's a few types on the market. Some are made in China, some are made in Australia. This one is made in the United States. It is a solid piece of, let's say, garden furniture. It is one piece. There's no rivets, there's nothing to screw or put together. If you know somebody, they can throw it in the back of their truck and deliver it to your house. Home Depot, they do delivery, it may cost a little bit, but this is going to last. I like something that's made in the United States that's solid as a rock. And well, when you have less places where it can buckle, you're going to have something that's gonna last. Remember, this is gonna have weight in it. And this is going to really hold up really nice. I've heard stories about all the other brands. Pressure points weakening, sides weakening. I don't think you're gonna have that problem with this one. Best of all, you don't have to put it together. That sounds pretty easy to me. Just set it up. Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California and I'm home from Home Depot with my new project. I really don't have any raised beds except for the totes that I grow in. And we do have those dog kennels that are throughout my garden here, the bird garden, but it's not a true raised bed. You have so many questions on raised beds all the time. And the problem here is we have trees and our trees, let me get my hat, hat all the way so I can see you and you can see me. The trees throw their roots everywhere and they destroy a lot of plants. They stop them from growing. Well, I decided since I have so many ideas on growing in a raised bed that I was gonna get myself a raised bed. Got up this morning, went to Home Depot. We even went live. This is uh, just over a hundred gallons. I'm gonna tell you some tips on this. So it's important to keep with this in case you're gonna get one of these. This thing was $139. And then of course there was tax. I went with this model. It's a cheaper model. But looking it over, it's built pretty good. Now, all of these, even the expensive ones, if you go through, you will see if you get them too big, the walls can start to bulge. It's just the weight. You put in soil, you put in compost, and it builds weight in there and it bulges if they're too big. Well, some of them bulge, some of them actually concave in, so they can do it both ways. Now, this particular one you can see does not have any reinforcements but the rim on it and everything is built solid. It is one piece. So I don't see how this can go anywhere, whether in or out. And keeping it on the smaller side, there shouldn't be any issues. I'd rather have multiple smaller ones set up than some that are big, but I love the size. It's about two feet tall, it's four feet long, and it's two feet wide, which is absolutely perfect. Just think of how many you can line up and have them nice and solid. And you can move them around still at this size. If you have them smaller lined up, you have control. It goes back to why I love totes so much, even buckets. Because if I wanna grow in this today, let's talk about that. I have to fill this whole thing and it's quite big. If I went to get soil from here, let's say potting soil from the store, I'm not even sure this can cost me 20, 30, 40, 50. It could cost me 60 to over $100 to fill this. So I already have plans on where I'm going to put it. I'm going to get rid of a lot of the plants that had died back. I'm going to fill it up. Now, this model has a floor, which is important. You can get it half price if you don't have a floor. I need a bottom on this. It also has a hole on the side, so it's not underneath. So all these trees we've got growing around here are not hopefully quickly are not going to invade us if they find the smallest hole they will get in there but you know what 
a good pull, I can tear the roots and then continue on. I may have to empty it if they get too far in there and start over. All in all, I think this is going to be a fun project. And the reason I decided to invest in this, which is something I usually don't do, is because I have amazing ideas on how to get this going. How I can make a pretty good garden in this small one, just over 100 gallons. I've got ideas on splitting it, but I'll still have to fill the entire thing. Though I could split it and not do it, I am going to fill the whole thing and do it all at one time because it's the water. You water it and the water's going to want to go to where it's empty. So you have to fill the whole thing. But I think we can get a whole lot growing in just a hundred gallon raised bed. And then if you get ideas from me, maybe you'll want to go out and have something different instead of a tote. I love my totes. You're not going to get me away from that. Know that my tool, I'll be able to tool this. I'll be able to stake in here without making holes. I don't want to make any extra holes. I'm going to set up the drain hole where hopefully no roots will get in at all. And I think this is going to be a really fun project. Remember, this is so deep that the plants only need about that much for their root system. Vegetable plants, they don't need a whole lot. So it's kind of too much for it, but that's okay. I wanted it this height. I could have gotten it much cheaper. Well, not much, but a little bit cheaper if I went lower. But I want to be able to sit on a chair like I'm doing. And I want to be able to service it that way so I can get a lot of fun things in here. Should last for a good five to 10 years. And I think it's going to be fun. I talked to the guy at Home Depot and he explained to me how the wooden ones last for about five years. Well, you know what? Just behind you, I've got totes that are about six years old, if not seven, and they're still going strong. So all in all, it depends on how they're treated, how much sun they get. If you, you know, abuse them, certain things like totes will break down quicker. And even if they did break down quicker, a tote is what, five to seven dollars, go to a thrift store, pick them up for two. This was, you know, $139, and with tax, let's just say 150 So it is pricey, and if you wanted to set up more than one, it's gonna cost more. But again, everybody has their own preference on how they wanna set it up. So you're gonna go on this journey with me. As I fill this, as I set this up, when spring is almost here, and how we get this thing going, and it should give you ideas because I have an idea on how I can do a variety of plants in here that should not be growing together. When I say that, heavy feeders. Heavy feeders can't go in the same container because, or too close to each other because they draw from each other. But I know how I can do it, so that's not an issue. That's why I thought it'd be fun instead of telling you all the time my ideas on, well, you've got a raised bed. Why don't you do it this way or do it that way? And then you come back and say, it worked, it worked. But you know what? I didn't have anything to show you. And having now a space that I need to clear out, this is why I, th I thought about it. Why not just go for it? Because I've had this whole space with all my dinosaur kale that's been growing for about seven years here. And it's finally all died out. You know, they only can grow for so long. And I thought, well, I'm clearing it and I have it all here. Why not compost it, put it into a ra real raised bed, you know, that a lot of you know about, these galvanized tanks. And then you can go with me on that and you'll get ideas and you don't have to do what I do. You could turn around and go, oh, I don't like that. I would do it that way. Then go for it because that means you've got your idea that's gonna work for you. Now, if you wanna go get a big name brand and spend hundreds of dollars more, go for it. I'm not stomping you. But I think for me, this is, you know, what I can basically afford. And I think I'm going to paint it because I get all that paint, that tester's paint from Home Depot for 50 cents. I think it'll be fun to hit it with some paint. And then we'll see from there how it goes. I think it's going to be fun. Who knows? Maybe I'll run back and get more. Now, the thing I wanted to tell you about this, which was interesting, is this company ships them one inside the other. Okay. So there were two in here, this one and another one. This Joe just so happened to be the outside one, where the one inside was lifted out by Gary because I wasn't buying that one. Now why? Because it's something to do with shipping. There are two sizes they make. Now the smaller one was marked 103 gallons. This one doesn't have, you know, a, a, an amount of how big it is, but it's bigger. 
So in order to ship it to companies, they put these two together. They ship them together to save on shipping and they send them to the store, but they're the same price. So if you want something that's a little bit bigger, get the one that's on the outside. If they still have them stacked there, tell them you want the one on the outside because they're both $139. What am I going to gain out of here? Oh, you know, it's hard to say. It might be, uh, it might be two or three gallons space wise. But I figured, well, if I'm putting the money out, I might as well get the one that's a little bit bigger. I really like this one. It's got a good edge on it. I can lean on it. It's sturdy. I don't see any problems with bulge on this. It is one solid piece that's welded together. Solid bottom. Good drain hole. I think it's made really good. Yes, you can get cheaper ones with no bottoms. But then here for me, like I said, with the trees, they would be in it. They may, may not even make it my vegetable plants until they completely grow because the trees come in so quickly looking for the water and the nutrients since I feed my plants so good from the other plants. But this should go a long time and I shouldn't have to worry about roots. Now, if you don't have trees, you're putting it on cement or you want to line it with a plastic liner, you can get the one with no bottom. But the other thing is this is much sturdier. So when, when you've got a good solid bottom and you've got a good rim, you've got something that's really stable. So I kind of analyzed it and thought, I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna make it where I can walk all the way around it, even though I can reach without a problem. But I've got ideas on how we can set this up and get a good sized garden in one raised bed. So follow me and let's see on this venture how it works out because, well, like I said, the only thing we've got is way back there, these dog kennels that were that Gary picked up once. They, a pet store was giving them away. They threw them out, actually. They threw them by the dumpster. My daughter saw them and called and said, go get them. And though they are raised beds, they're kind of tucked away and they were never set up right. To be honest, we never set them up right. This was so many years ago. We weren't even really in the gardening and we just kind of threw things together. But this is going to be set up right. This is going to be set up in the correct way. You're going to probably hear me say things that other people say are wrong. I've heard a lot of people saying things on videos that are absolutely false. I'm not sure what that is. I think some of it is they don't know and sometimes they don't care. And other times they do it on purpose, I think, because they want to drive the people to them saying, that's not right. That's not right. You can't do that or you should be doing it this way. So we're going to go through this and we're going to set it up correctly. But then again, you set up yours in the fashion in which you want to set it up and we'll get this together. And by this spring, I am sure we're going to have zucchini and who knows what's in here growing all in one raised bed. I am so excited. I really am. It's like my new toy. I'm so happy. It's a really good solid unit and I'm really happy with it. So let's see what happens with that. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye for now. Oh, this is going to be awesome. What do you think? You like it? I'm going to get a wag. The only approval I'll get is if I plant broccoli in it. Oh, well. <laughs>